TV Spotlight, Watching. Watching is the name of a British situation comedy series that ran for seven seasons and a total of 56 episodes, including four, several Christmas specials, from 1987 to 1993. The series focused on the up and down relationship between the seemingly rather mismatched couple Malcolm Stoneway and Brenda Wilson, played by Paul Brown and Emma Ray. Malcolm is a rather shy, retiring young man who still lives with his overbearing mother and whose main hobby is bird watching, while Brenda is a younger, mouthy Merseysider who never met an insult she didn't give. The two seem to have very little in common and they seem to be very mismatched, and yet they, no matter how many times they fall out and break up, they just keep growing back to each other. The series was a big hit for the British ITV network across those years, and was written completely by Jim Hitchmow. It made stars of Paul Brown and Emma Ray, who went on to star in a number of other shows, including Stay Lucky with Dennis Waterman and Jan Francis, as well as Liza Tarbuck, the daughter of British television veteran Jimmy Tarbuck, who played Brenda's o o older sister. The series also starred Patsy Byrne as, as Malcolm's overbearing mother, otherwise most famous for playing Nursie in Blackadder 2. Also appearing in watching what was Elizabeth Spriggs, another British TV veteran, who played Malcolm's aunt, who was rather less of a stuffy bird than, uh, than his mother. Watching was always a bit of an odd one for me because it was one I very much kind of grew up watching in the late 80s and early 90s. I think I, I, I would have seen about the first four seasons, maybe the first five. Unfortunately, because I emigrated to uh, Australia in mid-1991, basically the last episode of that show I saw was, I think it was the 1991 Christmas special, which was shown on the ABC in Australia. However, in their infinite wisdom, they never showed anything else. I don't know, I don't even know whether they showed the early seasons. It seems a bizarrely random thing to show if you're not going to show the early ones, but they certainly never showed the, 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 the final two seasons, which was a bit of an annoyance, especially given the, the, uh, the, the, the last episode I saw, which was that Christmas special, basically ended on a, a, a pretty much of a cliffhanger, which was uh, Malcolm basically marrying somebody else. <laughs> uh, I, I, for years, decades even, I, I, I couldn't quite believe that that was how the show actually ended seemed like a bit of a downer ending uh, uh but no apparently it wasn't there were two more seasons after that um i actually bought watching on dvd the complete set last year uh i haven't rewatched. i haven't i mean i haven't seen the whole series again as yet so i still haven't seen those two those two seasons that i uh, i've never seen because i'm re-watching it from the start because it's been 30 odd bloody years since i've seen any of it um, I'm currently about just over midway through season two, uh, and I have to say I'm enjoying it very much. I, uh, I think the series has stood up rather well. It's still a very charming offbeat comedy with two very likeable leads. Uh, Emma Ray was very, very cute as well, which, <laughs> which, which is probably helpful considering, considering how mouthy Brenda <laughs> often is. But yeah, I'm really enjoying rediscovering watching. Uh, if you've never seen it or you haven't seen it for a very long time and you like a, a bit of old school British comedy with a, bit, with a bit of romance to it, I can certainly recommend it. I've thoroughly enjoyed rediscovering watching.